YouTube. Um, I've been really busy um, the last couple of weeks. Um, it's my granddaughter Elle's birthday um, on the 30th of March and she's going to be two. So um, I've been busy making um, some bits and pieces for her. So I don't know if you saw on my last video um, I'd made a cotton Luna for her and a little cotton dress out of some fabric that I'd made her a dress for um, and uh, it was my second Luna because I made the original um, felt one but I felt that it was um, wouldn't stand up to pulling and tugging and biting so I thought I'd make a cotton one for her um, and uh, yes yeah, so I was really pleased with that and that was the leftover fabric that I'd made a dress for her so I'll show you the dress that I've actually made for Elle now this was um, a simplicity pattern 1208A and um, I am just made uh, the standard dress no sleeves and I didn't bother putting the applique on there so um, it was just standard dress um, and I also made the little bag um, which I um, patchworked with some bits and pieces so I'll show you the dress first so um, she'd asked for um, a ladybird bag because she liked ladybirds so I found this fabric on um, eBay so I made this little dress and I'm really chuffed with it the pattern went together so well it's um, lined in the top so it's got a inner piece in the top there so it makes it lovely and tidy and nice and neat round their skin inside so I um, overlocked all the seams and I put my label in <laughs> and so it made it nice and tidy around the neck and then I found these cute buttons in my stash I don't know how long I've had them and they're ladybirds so I put them on the back but it's a beautiful cotton dress and I found a bit of red ribbon so um, I put a red ribbon on there but I'm really chuffed with it so of course now her Luna and her are ma matching so that would be lovely. So that's um, a, the gift I made. So that was the dress. Then um, after making the dress, I had some bits and pieces left over. So I bought some um, red cotton off of eBay, cheap red cotton, and I made the little bag. So as you can see, I put the little bits of ladybird fabric that I had left over on there to accentuate it and inside is just plain white cotton that I had it's got stiffener in it and these are sort of the ear bits there like that and then you tie it up and that makes a handle so I'm hoping she'll like that to carry her toys and things around in but yeah, so that's a little bag. So I then did a little white ribbon and held it on with a, a red button. So um, this is the second one I've made. I did make one for my uh, th three year old granddaughter when she was about two. I made her one with little Russian dolls on it because um, her mother's Russian. So, um, but yeah, so I was well chuffed with that. So I thought, well, that's nice. So then I'm. Um, I decided that I'd make a cardigan so I went for this fabulous frills cardigan here and I did the biggest size which is two to three and I did it in white so here it is that's it there and I put a ladybird button on I found on eBay to match this is quite cute with the frills and it really knitted up quite easy because it's just stocking stitch and then just um, this sort of little, I don't know what this, moss stitch. That's it, moss stitch on the sleeves. 
Um, but yeah, so that come together and I did the biggest size because the last jumper I knitted I didn't fit her. It was too small, so um, I thought I'd better do the big size. And that's to go with the dress, so if it's a bit cool, then she can put the jumper on. I then found some fleece fabric. So um, I think I've got some here. This fleece fabric, and it's got ladybirds on it. And I thought, oh, that would make a nice... Um, fleece so I scanned the um, internet and I found this free pattern so there it's a free pattern and it does two sizes 104 centimeters high and 116 centimeters high so I worked that out to be between sort of three to six so what I did was when I printed it out I um, cut off the seam allowance and decided that would work for a two-year-old. So um, fortunately, I had enough um, fabric to um, make it. And there it is, this little fleece. And I've done this little, little toggle bit for the zip. But I'm well chuffed with it. I, um, I did um, use the cover stitch down here um, but I use white so that it wouldn't show here and of course it looked it did stand out so I decided to put a bit of ribbon down there to hide it and it's got ribbon around the neck um, to hide the join and then the rest of it is overlocked but um, and I use the um, I just yeah I just use the normal normal sewing machine to do the hem around the bottom because it didn't need to stretch but um yes yeah, so i'm well chuffed with that and that come together really well and i happened to mention it to my uh, my um other son who's got um an 18 month old um da daughter um and uh he said oh amelie loves um ladybird she's in la uh, ladybird group at school so i said oh well i'll see if i've got enough so i managed to cut out um another one so i've got another one identical cut out ready to make for um amelie but this is Elle's one for her birthday and then i thought well i've got tiny bit of scraps of fabric and i like i'm trying to you once i start i try to use all the fabric up because otherwise you just got bits everywhere so i thought you know what i thought i've got these two squares like that i thought i could back them with the red that i've got left over and i could make a drawstring bag so i that's what i did and i got this cord off of ebay and I'm now waiting for some uh, an eyelet maker so I can put two eyelets in there and then I can thread the cord through and then it'd be like a mini little backpack. So um, just a little thing, you wouldn't carry much in there but they're only little, they're only two. So yeah, so I made two of those. So I'm really chuffed this one's waiting for more cord because that took two metres of cord. Um, so I'm waiting for a Another two metres to come from eBay. I think it was £1.75, including postage. I mean, you can't beat that. And I'm waiting for Amazon, I think it is, for the eyelet maker so that I can finish those off. But yes, yeah, so that is Elle's birthday present. She's getting the bag with the fleece. She's getting the dress with the jumper, the matching bag, and she's also getting a Luna. She's also got a matching dress. So I hope she'll like it. Um, my daughter-in-law occasionally watches my videos, so she might she might see what, her, what um, Elle's getting for her birthday, but it's not long now. By the time I've... Um, edited the video and everything that it'll probably be very near her birthday so they might have the gifts already because we're still in lockdown so um and um her sister my daughter-in-law's sister has just um tested positive for covid she, i think she's only about 12 um and she picked it up at school so they're having to isolate so we're just gonna drop the gifts off 
and um, we won't see them at all, not even in the garden. So that's a shame. But um, hopefully uh, it won't be long before um, the UK's fully vaccinated and we can get a bit of our freedom back and see our family. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Any questions, just put them down below um, if you need any links for anything. I think this fabric was off eBay. Um, and the cotton, red cotton and the white cotton I used were just um, basic stuff off of eBay. Um, the zip, which is, I've got this one ready for um, Amelie's one. Um, the zip is a open-ended zip. And I think I paid a couple of quid for it and that was off eBay as well. It came really quick. So, um, yeah, so. But yeah, this is quite cute with the little. So that's ready to roll for when I make hers, which is all cut out. And I think I've still got some bits and pieces left. Um, yeah, still got a few tiny little bits. So I'll have to see what I can make with that. But yeah, well, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.